makeup time on holiday. So I've already prepped my skin. Should have said hi, how are you doing? Um been waiting for the neighbours to go out so as I could do this one. Um, we are heading out in about an hour um, to head into the Fuengarola International Festival which will be in my vlogs, don't worry. Um, but I thought I would start with a bit of makeup, make myself feel good. I don't often wear makeup on holiday, I really don't. Um, but I thought today was the day to put some on and the only thing I won't be able to do is my eyebrows but what I'll do because I haven't got it on me it's in the other room and I don't know where it is so what I'm going to do is all the rest of my makeup do my my thing and then I'll stand out in the sun and show you um I would film in the sun but you can't see what I'm doing and you're just gonna have to put up with the background as it is so let's crack on like I said I've already done my face and I'm going to start with my Factor 50 CC cream. I don't wear a lot. It's not um, it's not overly hot today. It's 18 degrees. There's a bit of a breeze. So I'm just going to put a little bit on just to get rid of some of that redness I've got. And take it from there. I can't really see what I'm doing. I don't even know if this is going to be okay because I've left my mirror in the other room as well because I'm absolutely useless. I tell you what, give me a minute. I'm going to go and get those bits. And she's back. She's finally remembered everything, including her nose stud. So I just wish I would stop getting bitten. I'm getting bitten a lot. They must like my skin. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm not going to put a lot of base on. I'm just going to put a little bit over the face, one, to give it some extra sun protection, and two, just to even out the skin tone. And I am fully aware that this is potentially an utter waste of time, because I'm going to be having sunglasses on for the next few hours, and no one's going to see it. But the event goes on into the evening, so... She wants to just feel good. This is all this is for. This is for me. This is not for other people. This is for me. Just to feel a bit made up. So I'm going to set this a little bit. Using my normal KVD setting powder. Um, just in the centre of my face. Just where I get a bit shiny. Not too much and then just use the excess like so there we go quick and easy base done what's next bronzer contour whatever you want to call it i only brought with me my single brush and this is a max factor um eyeshadow called crystal dark um but it is a kind of the perfect contour tone for me because I do like that kind of cool tone on my skin so I'm just gonna use it like a bronzer today I'm not gonna worry too much again probably looks absolutely terrible but it's just for that glow bit of sculpting not too much and I've got no blush on me so I could use one out of my palette but I can't be bothered so we're just gonna do that quick check in the mirror that I've done it okay just gonna get my fluffy brush and blend out on my forehead because I've gone a bit a bit ham I don't want to look like a drag queen and I don't want to look overly tanned so that will do. That's good enough for me. Let's put my finger in it. I bought these the other day and I did um, put them in my vlog. You will see that. So I've got a kind of turquoise blue. Let's take the lids off and have a look. So we have a lime green, the Griffin's Choice. We have a lilac 
which is very nice. We have a mid blue, like a grey blue, that's really cool. And this turquoisey one. I did bring with me a green and a purple and a black, obviously, um, because they're my new ones and they're easy to use. But I thought it's summer, we're in Spain, we'll do something a little bit bright, different, who cares? So, eyebrows. This is the collection Incredibre Mascara. I love this. I'm in love with this product. I mean, look at the difference. Not done. Done. And it's what? Three second swipe. And you literally just brush it along the hairs. You can... It kind of hardens, so it does keep the hairs, if you like that fuller look. Um, I'm too old to have eyebrows that do the fuller look. But I can pretend with this um, I'm not a lover of the full brow I never have been but instantly that's just done it don't have to worry about pencils anything this stuff is great and when I get back to the UK I'm gonna get another one because that is a daily product even if I even here with nothing else on my skin other than sun cream I've been doing my brows because my hair is currently black on top very dark and I wanted my eyebrows to match, as you do. Because blonde eyebrows don't look right with black hair. Hmm. I'm going to tight line my eyes with the lime green. For a bit of fun. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's see how this goes. Oh, wow. That colour is beautiful. Like I said, we're here for a bit of fun. We're not here to take makeup seriously i will take some pictures inside maybe if i can get a better i mean that color is beautiful i don't even know if you can see it but it's absolutely it's like a goldy green it's very nice in fact on my skin it's probably more gold than it is to the line just keep putting the mirror in front sorry it is more gold than it is lime green but i like it we're going to balance that out with some purple no we're not not yet we're not we're not she's not she's going to get a palette i bought this it was in my pack with me i bought this off amazon it's cheap i don't care if it gets broken but the reason why I bought it was for this shadow here, which apparently you put over any colour in the palette and it makes it duo cream. Should we have a look? So let's do the grey. So we'll get a bit of grey and I'll just swatch that on my hand. Get a bit more. Okay, that's the grey. It's a nice colour actually, I like that, very me. And this is called Chameleon. And the idea is that you put this over any of the colours. So this is it on its own. It's like a glittery pinky. But if you put it over these, I'll go it halfway down, it's meant to turn it into a duochrome effect. Does it? Does it? I suppose it does. It takes it from matte to like a bluey, shiny colour. Yeah, I can see it. I can see that. Okay, it is what it is. I've got to wash my hands again now. Sorry if this keeps moving. I've got it balanced on a cushion and a towel because I cannot be bothered to go and get my other tripod. Okay, what are we going to do? Let's pick a brush. That one will do. I can wash the towel, don't worry about it. I'm going to go in with I want something fairly dark, but not too overpowering. So I'm going to go in with, should I use that grey or should I use stone? I want that one or that one. This one's called Witch, that's quite nice. That's quite a cool tone, but a bit too dark. Now I think I could go in that grey, you know. 
let's do the grey. Big-ish fluffy brush and just do a bit of a lid coverage. Knowing me, everything I'm doing, I'm going to get told, you shouldn't do it like that. Don't do it that way, you're doing your colours the wrong way round. I don't care, I'm on a holiday, I'll do what I like. So, we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. With the grey. Just bring that out a touch. I like that colour, it's really nice. Just all across the lid. And it does go with the lime green. What's next? Let's go under, it's a bit fluffy. Okay, with grey I'm going to do blueberry, which isn't blueberry coloured at all. I suppose, well no, blueberries are like a dark Oh, hang on though, I suppose it's the inside colour of a blueberry. Blueberry. It's this one. Uh, mirror. And as you can see, she is as organised as she is when she's at home, which is not at all. So I'm going to put this one. Uh, where am I going to put this one? I can't see what I'm doing. Let's just put it on the outer hood there and bring that out oh, I don't even care if it looks rough you know what I mean I'm on holiday but we'll try we'll try and make it look vaguely decent she will also try to stop putting her mirror across the viewfinder because it's no good to man the beast is it if you can't see what I'm doing most of you probably don't know what I'm doing because I make such a hash of my makeup on a regular basis so Going back in with that blueberry colour on the other eye. Oh god, this looks awful. Yep, she's messed it up already. So, oh god. This is terrible. But it's fine. I will find a way to make it work. Somehow. Somehow. It will work. I've got all the wrong brushes. I haven't got my kit. That's the problem. I haven't got my stuff. So I'm making a mess. She's making a mess. Right. I'm going to get a bit. I'm going to go with this colour, which is cement, which is lighter than that one. No, I'm not. I'm going to go with matcha, which is green. It's like a very pale, pale green. It's paler than it looks on camera. And I'm just going to use that to blur out that edge because I can that's what we're doing oh that looks better that looks better let's hope I can sort it on the other side um, so yeah what have we been up to we've been on holiday by the time all these videos go up this holiday will be over and we'll have been back for weeks um, but it's just how my schedule's working at the moment my schedule of filming has been, I've been able to do so many bits that I'm just so far ahead with everything that you're getting content after the fact, which is cool because then when you have got questions, I'm about to answer it, whereas at the moment I'm not really, I've had a couple, I did a short, people have, have seen that one, but I'm, I'm not really here for social media the most i'm doing is watching a bit of youtube at the moment right i'm not going to use the lilac i thought i was i'm going to go in with this one this is an avon one i bought the other day it's a dark purple and i'm just going to run that along the lower lash just to make that green pop a bit so yeah all this content's going up i'll be back in the country ready to answer your questions which you probably won't have i can guarantee you won't have any because no one ever does no one ever does but it's fine it's fine i am not a youtuber that's here for the subscribers and the money and the because believe me youtube is not 
what it used to be. YouTube is not as easy to make money as it used to be. For example, you have to have, in 365 days, 3,000 active watch hours. Now, I've been on YouTube, I'm just going in with this silver, called Amethyst. I don't know why it's called Amethyst, Amethyst is purple, but we'll go with it. Um, yeah, so you have to have 3,000 active watch hours in 365 days which doesn't sound like a lot but when you consider some videos are only 10 minutes make it 10 minutes I know mine are never 10 minutes but bear with me if your video is 10 minutes some you have to have six individual watches watch it in full in full to get one hour now times that by three thousand what's that what's three sixes that's eighteen thousand people watching your content in a year i've only got thirteen hundred and a couple subscribers i don't even have you know if one i, I don't have that many subscribers i'm never going to hit that mark but i did hit 500 the other day which is the first time in three years so four years is it four years four and a half years so we'll take it we will go with it and we'll see what happens i'm just going to pop on some of this lip balm before i finish my eyes off this isn't never seen one like this before this is one from a drugstore in Frangorola. It's by IDC Institute Beauty and Skincare. And it's an aloe vera lip balm. So I thought I'd give it a go. Ooh, okay nice tastes like don't know what it tastes like to be honest so it's Thursday I'm gonna have all my videos done apart from my daily vlogs and my I say daily vlogs I'm doing two vlogs for two weeks I'm gonna have all those and my apart from that one and my outfit vlog video whatever you want to call it they're all gonna be done by the end of today because we've not done a lot the last couple of days but we've been here and I've been able to film all the things I wanted to film that I planned to film on this holiday so I'm quite I'm quite proud of myself to be fair right what's left mascara oh, I definitely need a mirror for that get me mirror back one sec so yeah that's where we are with things all the videoing is done I don't know what I'm going to do myself the rest of the holiday I'm going to have to actually relax and I'm not somebody who has to be on the go constantly but if I've got things that need to be done or that I've planned to get done I've got to do them does that make sense so by the time this goes up all the videos up until I think this is like one of the last ones to go up of the series of the holiday ones so Apart from the vlogs that are going up last, uh, oh, my outfits might go up before this one. It's, they're done. So now I'm like, well, what's next? Um, by the time I get back, I've already filmed the first, or I will have content up until the 16th of June done. By the time I've edited and done these videos. So... I guess it's kick back and enjoy the sunshine. Yeah, you heard her. She said enjoy the sunshine. I know. Um, but kick back, chill out and try not to do things that involve like work related. I mean, not that YouTube is work for me, it's hobby and I enjoy it. Um, so we'll see. I have been upping my vlog game. So those of you who have commented, you know, 
they're not great i know i admit it they are not great videos they are what i'm able to do so let me explain being in a wheelchair my eye line in general is men's backsides men's fronts and children that's not what i want to put in my vlogs even though we're going out this afternoon i'm not going to put kids in it unless it's like a, a dancing thing and they just happen to be there but i'm not somebody who's going to go around and film at kids level when we came out in december there wasn't so many children so it was okay to film but again it's a lot of kind of but area eye line it's what i've got it's all i've got um it is what it is i can't always film sometimes places are far too busy i am far more self-conscious in the uk of having a camera in my hand constantly um albeit on my phone today the fact that i'm going to take out my handheld little one that i showed you on the review i'm going to take that out because it's going to be easier for me while i'm in my chair and i'm going to take my clip to hold my phone and I'm going to take my microphone because if I speak but you'll be able to hear what's going on basically without all the background noise of this one talking here in this language and this one you know what I mean that sort of thing so I don't feel self-conscious I'm on, I'm in a different country no one knows who I am I don't care but when I'm at home I have been recognized when I've been out um and although I'm not a big massive I'm not the Emily Boos I'm not the, you know, Black Fridays of the world. But I have been recognised and I don't want to draw the attention. I think because I'm that bit older. I think if I was younger, if I was in my 20s, I wouldn't care less. Because social content, social media is kind of the thing. Um, you ask kids what they want to do these days and it's, I want to be a YouTuber or I want to be a TikToker or I want to be this. Or, because they've seen people make a success of it. But when you're, you know, the wrong side of 45, it looks a bit weird to be going round with a camera and a microphone. But over here, I don't care. So, yeah, I'll be taking my kit out. Um, kind of gone off top topic, haven't I? Excuse me, just spat everywhere. Um, kind of gone off topic. It's my makeup done. What am I doing with my lips? What do we think? Do we like? I do love this green. I love that pop. Instead of having the black, having the green is it's kind of nice. Let me just see if I can grab it again and top it up a little bit. Because it is a very pale colour for me. As far as eye line is concerned. Because you know me, I am a, gre a green. I am a black girl when it comes to my eyeliner. The darker the better. But no, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with the green and the purple. And it should make my eyes stand out a little bit. I don't have a blusher. Do I have anything I can use as a blusher? Probably not. Uh, no, the only colours I've got are nude, brown, violet. And I think that violet is a little bit much. And that chameleon glitter, which I'm not going to use. I will stick a bit of highlight on because I can. And because I've got it on me. Uh just across there a bit on my nose I suppose no, I don't know what is this trend by the way I don't know where it's come from um, I did see it briefly towards the end of 2023 of this kind of blush look um, but what is this thing now I'm seeing most makeup content creators outside of the goth world and some in the goth world that are doing the heavy blush and then the blush down the nose and on the t where did that come from i didn't see that anywhere i didn't see it in magazines i didn't see it in unless i'm looking in the wrong ones but i didn't see it in any magazines i didn't see it on a runway i saw a vivid version on it on a runway where they did the strip across but i've not seen this trend but it seems to be very big at the moment. I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers that I watch, some goth, some not, that are very heavy into this blush and then brush down the note. And I'm, I'm not here for it, so I'm not going to do it. But I will put a bit of highlight. Um, don't know what to do with my lips. I've got options now. I've got this one that I bought the other day. 
which is like a dark brown but I don't know if it's going to be too heavy or I've got my my um good old favorite she says reaching into the bag of doom my visionary which do we think do we go dark or do we go it's got to be the normal one hasn't it so let me just get a bit of that off my lips much as I love lip balm I do not like it under my lipstick yes she's still got makeup on her hand so here we go let's finish the look let's do this mirror oh I'm gonna have to edit so much of this because it's just it's just a mess right That'll do. It's a mess, as usual. And it's slightly overlined, which I don't like, but I made a mess of it, so I had to go with it. And that's it. That's the look. So hopefully I'll get some pictures of this out in the sun. But that's what we're going with. So we've got grey, purple, a greeny colour, and then green and purple under the eye with my typical lip it's what we're going with it's all i've got a bit of mascara and i can't have any eyeliner so and i've done my mascara now otherwise i would consider putting that across i wonder if i can what's the chances i'm going to mess it up let's just see oh oh now we're talking Okay, we didn't mess it up. We thought we were going to, but we didn't. Can't even tell. You can't tell. Let's blend that out a bit. It'll look better in the photos, I promise. So that's it. I'm going to go. Because I'm talking rubbish. This could take me... Oh, I'll edit it tomorrow. I can't be bothered today. I need to get ready to go out, film my outfit of the day. And then we're going to head to the International Cultural Festival. Sorry about the background. Sorry it's been a waffly video. But, as always, love you lots. <laughs>